People do talk about that military-civilian gap, and it's something that uh, our organization is, is proud to maybe bridge that gap through some awareness. Some of the campaigns we do, the public service announcements that we do, um, and the best connection we can make is telling the stories of people and having people donate to, to our cause because every, those donor dollars go towards really fueling our mission. The issues that we face with our veterans, um, especially when it comes to brain injury recovery, uh, access to mental health care, physical health and wellness, these are not issues, these are issues that are not foreign to the general population. There is a big need in this country to improve quality of health care for, specifically for mental health, improve the access to mental health, um, reduce substance use, overdose. We talk about suicide as well. Um, these are issues that are not foreign to the general population. And what we need to do is leverage what the phenomenal work that's done in the military space and translate that, translate the accomplishments, translate the uh, best practice to the larger community to adopt, to support you know, uh, you know, a, a civilian, when a civilian is, is dealing with post-traumatic stress or exposed to a trauma and is not recovering well, this is important. You know, we should be treating, you know, the, the military is a special group of people. They raised their hands, they served, um, injured in combat, injured in training, but we see trauma all the time in society and we see people who struggle with their mental health. We see people struggle to get access to quality care for traumatic brain injury. Um, it shouldn't be reserved just for the military. Those lessons learned and what are best practices, that has to translate to uh, the, 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 global, the, the better global good. If that's not happening, then, then we're not as effective as we could be um, as an organization. So that's where the lessons learned are. Um, we have a lot of, uh, a lot of sympathy and understanding for people with cancer. Um, we should apply that same level of sympathy for those who are dealing with a traumatic brain injury or mental health disorder or substance, uh, substance use disorder. Um, in the end, um, what we are witnessing as a society is um, suicide problem, drug dependence, um, poor access to care for, for mental health care. Um, we're trying to break down these barriers for the veteran population, and I think it's important that those practices be um, disseminated uh, to the global good, not just um, U.S. civilians, but throughout the world. Brainline is powered in part by Wounded Warrior Project to honor and empower post-9-11 injured service members, veterans, and their families.